up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of One O One. Now today we're going to be talking about the creator story. This is going to be a special episode. It's going to be a Christmas episode uh, because Christmas is like right around the corner. Like literally right around the corner. It's like almost here. In a couple of days it's going to be here. And hopefully you guys are going to have a blast with Christmas. And so I want to say uh, again Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you guys. As you, as you can see, I do have this beautiful, beautiful Christmas tree right here beside me, uh, you know, accompanying me today. That was put up by my sister and my mom. They did a very, very good job, so shout out to them. Uh, I'm probably going to get in trouble for using this tree, but it's okay. They can fuss at me after I post the video. <laughs> so without further ado, guys, let's get started. Woo! Alright guys, so let's talk about the creative story. So um we know that Regina is now pure. She's now have control of you know her mom's powers and stuff like that. And you know, Fidel and Corianne they are helping her. So now they're like all best friends and like I said, it's during the Christmas season. This episode is gonna be a Christmas episode. And so Fidel is is getting ready for school and he can smell his mom cooking. Um, so he runs downstairs and he sees his dad and he's like dad you're here and his dad is like hey son how you doing um you're not getting in trouble are you and he's like Fidel's life and he's like nah not really just saving people you know doing what you guys do and his dad starts to like he's like haha that's my boy now come sit down come eat we're having breakfast and his mom just smiled because they haven't really been together uh, for a while because Val Zod has been, you know, in outer space with Kal-El, uh, working on a, on a super, super top project that nobody knows about. Not even uh, Batman knows about this project that Kal-El and Val Zod are, are, you know, working on. And so, Fidel asks, he's like, Dad, so, you know, what are you doing down here? And he's like, well, it's Christmas time, you know, we want to be with family. And then, uh, so, for, 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 and so Fidel's like, well, how's uh, Uncle Kal-El? How's Superman? And Valzar's like, I'm super mad. And then he starts laughing. And then he's like, yeah, kal doing pretty good. You know, he's with Lois and, and John right now. And then uh, Fidel's like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we all had like a dinner together? Um, which we're going to do anyway, but why not just do it earlier? And then uh, Carl's like, she's like, so having two dinners? Yeah, just something for us to, you know, get together with everybody. You know, I can have, you know, I can even make something, Mom. And Kara's thinking, and she's like, "That's not a bad idea. Let me call, let me call Clark and see what he thinks." And then Fidel smiles, and then he like eats his food really, really fast, and then he like zooms out the door to go to school. And so Balzad is like sitting with Kara, and she he's like talking to her, and he's like, "Hey, Car, there's some stuff we need to talk about." And then Kara gets like this serious look in her face, and she looks at Balzad, and she's like what's going on and Val Zod is like explaining her and talking to her about the things that him and kal saw in outer space and he has a bad feeling that something is going to happen he just doesn't know when and so Carl is like thinking about you know everything that could happen you know and everything that would happen if him and kal wasn't in space and she was like well do you think we can stop it if it happens whatever's going on and he's like I think we can, but I just wanted to let you know. I know we haven't talked in a while, and I'm sorry. I love you. And Kara smiles, and she gives him a kiss, and she's like, you're going to make me late for work. And then she, like, zooms out of the house, and finds out is, like, just sitting there, just kind of, like, by himself. Like, everybody's gone. Like, Fidel is at uh, school, and, you know, Kara is now going to school, and so he's, like, sitting there alone without anything else to do. And Fidel, he's, like, Almost to the school, and he stops because he sees Corian, and she's flying above him. She's like, "Hey, Fidel!" And he stops. He looks up. He's like, "Hey, Corey!" And she's like, "Are you about to go to school?" And he's like, "Yeah, the same place you should be going." Wait, are you going somewhere else? And then he sees Regina right beside her. He's like, and she's like, "Hey, Fidel!" And Fidel's like, "Hey, Regina!" Wait, what's going on? 
And so Regina and Corianne, they both land beside him and he's like, guys, what are you guys doing? We have to get to school. And then Regina looks at Corianne and Corianne looks at Fidel and she's like smiling. And she's like, we know, but we thought we might want to take a detour. And Fidel's like, a detour? And then she's like, Regina's like, yeah, you know, we kind of thought we would probably like go see the lights before, you know, school starts, uh, just to kind of get away from everything. And uh, if you guys remember, the last episode, you know, Fidel and Corianne had to help Regina, you know, suppress the dark side that was in her and stuff like that. And so, you know, after that, they was kind of like all drained. So they kind of want to get away from everything just to kind of like clear their minds. And so Fidel's thinking, he's like, where do you guys want to go? And then he's like, thinking to himself, okay, what kind of answers are they going to give me? And Corianne's like, we kind of was thinking that we can go to the Fortress of Solitude. And then Fidel's like, no. No way, we cannot go to the fortress. My dad and my uncle will kill me. And then, Virginia's like, what if we made our own fortress of solitude? And Fidel's thinking, he's like, how could that even happen? And Corianne's like, well, we thought that maybe you could take a piece of crystal from your uncle fortress and kind of use it for your own. And then uh, he's like, I don't think that's going to work. And then Regina's like, please, 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 Fidel, like, we really just want to have a place of our own. And Fidel's thinking, he's like, my mom is going to kill me. And so they all fly up and they head to the Fortress of Solitude. Um, and when they get there, they see, and when they get there, they see that Superman is already there. And... He's like looking for something and he's like messing around with different stuff and he's like speeding back and forth cleaning things up and he's like and he sees them and he's like hey Fidel how are you and then he's like and then Fidel's like Uncle kal and he runs and gives him a hug and he's like uh and he's like squeezing him like super super tight because he haven't seen him in so long and Fidel's uh Fidel's like kal I have a question for you and then kal -El's like, he's like, okay, <laughs> what's going on, Fidel? And then Fidel's like, um, there's something I really gotta ask you, and it's very, very important. And Fidel, Superman is like, okay, what is it? Now he's starting to get a little bit more serious because he feels like this question that he's about to ask is very important. And then Fidel's like, how did your fortress of solitude become to happen? Like, how did you build your fortress? And then Superman's like, with the crystal. The crystal gave me my own fortress and it has all the Kryptonian knowledge and information that I need inside of it. And then Fidel's like, so if I take a piece of your crystal, just a small piece, can I have my own fortress of solitude? And then uh, Superman's like, why would you want your own fortress? And he looks to the side and he sees Corianne and Regina and they just sit there and they're like raving at Superman. He's like, oh, so you just kind of want a place of your own, don't you? And Fidel's like, yeah, I'm just, you know, some place that we can go to clear our heads and, you know, things like that. And Superman thinks, he's like, I can give you a small piece, but you're going to have to find a place that's deserted and, and, you know, cleared out to make the fortress happen. And Fidel's thinking, he's like, okay, okay, I got it, I have an idea. And so Superman gives him the piece of the crystal, and him, Corianne, and Regina, they all leave out the fortress. And Corianne's like, what are you going to do? And Fidel looks at Corianne, and he looks at Regina. And he's like, okay, I want you guys to put your hands on this crystal. And she's like, okay. And... Corianne puts her head on the bottom part of the crystal and Regina puts her head on the top part of the crystal and he's like okay I hope this works and he closes his eyes and he grabs the crystal really really hard and he just moves over a little bit from the fortress of solitude and he kind of like throws it but he throws it a little bit further than where the fortress would be at so it's like his fortress of solitude is like 
right behind the Fortress of Solitude for Superman. And Superman can stop to hear the crackling from the crystal. And he's like, Fidel, what did you do? So he flies out. And he just starts smiling at Fidel because he thought that Fidel was going to take the crystal some other place. But he just placed the crystal right behind the uh, Fortress of Solitude. And then Superman's like, this is not what I had in mind when I told you to find a secure location. And then Fidel's like, yeah, but I really didn't have any other idea. And Corianne and Regina, they just, they just start laughing. And, you know, their fortress is kind of starting to form. And when it finishes, Fidel, Corianne, and Regina, they go inside. And they look at the fortress. And it's like, it looks exactly like Superman fortress, except for... When Corianne put her hand on the crystal, it took some of her DNA. So now there's a part of her an her ancestry inside of the crystal, and now there's a part of Regina ancestry inside of the crystal. So it's like the crystal is all blue, but there's like different kind of like crystals that that are kind of like green, but it's not kryptonite. It's like part of Corianne like biology. It's like her her energy. And they're like, the floor is like completely pure white and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool fortress and stuff like that. And Corianne's like, I can't believe that really worked. And Superman comes into the fortress and he's like, wow, this is really cool. This is amazing. How do you, how did you do this? And then Fidel's like, I don't know. I just did it. So Superman goes back to his fortress and he brings a couple of robots to kind of help monitor and keep track of the fortress. And Fidel's like, guys, I'm having a family dinner tonight. Do you guys want to come? And Coriana and Regina, they look at each other. They're like, yeah, sure. Where is it? And Fidel's like, it's going to be here in our fortress. And so Fidel, Coriana, and Regina, they go back home and they're telling their parents like what's going on and what's happening and stuff like that. But next thing you know, they start to hear this loud loud rumbling. It's like <laughs> Turns out it's an invasion coming to Earth. And Fidel looks up into the sky and he sees all these different planets and stuff like that. And Val Zod comes from downstairs and he looks at Quora and she's like is this what you're talking about? And Val Zod is like yeah Call Superman. It's gonna be a fight. And that's like the end of that episode. Like that's like the end of that story. Uh I'm gonna stop it right here because uh it's gonna get pretty intense and uh, I just wanna have more time to tell you guys about what's going on. But this is all going on like through Christmas and stuff like that. So the next part the next episode will probably be around Christmas Eve. For the story, the next episode will probably be a, uh, will probably take place during Christmas Eve for them and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not sure when I'm gonna drop the new. So guys, let me know in the comments how you like the story so far, um, and what things you would change and well, who you would add in and what characters you would want to see or talk about and stuff like that. Also, you can email me uh, if you have any ideas and stuff like that, or if you have your own creative creative story. Okay, guys, we are out. Peace.